All right, everyone. I already videoed this whole video and it wasn't recording. So here we go. For the second but your first time. Great. So we're actually, wow, okay, maybe I should describe what we're doing. Um, we are going through, sorry to put these all in reverse again. Um, we're going through paintings that I could scavenge up, that I could find, um, some old ones from like freshman, sophomore year, um, a few from last year, but they're just kind of fun ones that are loose that I thought we should look at. So the first one we're going to start with is one of my very favorite paintings I ever did. Um, I did not date this one, but it was a super fun one to do. Um, so there's this guy with these flowers coming out of his head. Um, his shirt has like some texture in it that was really fun to do. And I actually did like most of this painting. I cut it off like right here and then I finished it another day, which I like never ever do. But for some reason I remember doing it with this one. And it was just a really fun idea. This is one of the very first paintings that really got me into it. I did it on this board. Um, I think you're supposed to paint on the white side, but this side was already blue. And so I was like free background, you know? They're really like flimsy, but some of my favorite things to paint on. This guy I did date, um, August 2017, I did this. He's one of my very favorite paintings and he, I tried really hard on him. Like I remember sitting down at my desk. I had a desk. Now I just like do it on my floor. Um, but I was sitting at my desk in my room because I like never hung out with my friends ever in my whole entire life. And so I would sit in my room, I'd read, I would paint. And he, his, I remember his nose I tried really hard on. He's one of my favorites. Basically all of these paintings I did back in this time were like my favorite paintings I ever did. And so I think I'm gonna go back to painting on smaller sizes like this. Like now I paint on like big canvases, but I don't put in as much like tiny detail like effort into it like I just kind of do like the basic shapes and then go from there and it's just like not as it's just not as fun to look at I don't think and so I might go back to doing small things until I get my group back next we've got this girl from May 2017 she's one of the very first black people that I've ever painted and since then I love painting them and the reason being is because in their skin tone they have like these oranges and red colors and they're just super fun to like mix the paint of their skin um ours really all i use is like a brown white and a little bit of pink like this is just a lot more fun obviously her lips are really big probably really not that big but i wish i had lips like that so go her this one i did and it's not bad it's kind of like childish like you know just it's still fun um, I put a lot of texture into the shirt. I don't know if you can see it. But I did this in November of 2016. Like three days for my birthday. And it was a really fun one. I used to do these people with like flowers coming out of their head. This is when I like first started doing people instead of just like portraits like I do now. Um, and I really should go back to this. It's just like really fun and creative. That This one I believe is me. No, it's not me. This is not me. I paint myself a lot, not because I'm like all about myself, but because I have a lot of pictures of me that are like taken of me. And I, if I could get someone to like sit in a room with me and like be my model for me to paint, that would be so fun. But that would take, I mean, it takes like an hour or two for me to paint. So like sitting there for a long time, like it'd probably be like awkward. No one would really want to do that for me. But I guess if you want to come to my house and sit on a chair for two hours, you can have a painting of yourself. Anyways. This is a girl, probably just a picture I found on Pinterest. It didn't really work out. What I was going for was there was a leaf shadow like going behind her and like across her face so it curved. And I obviously didn't do that very well. I think because it's like gray instead of like her skin color. I don't know. I still probably couldn't even do what I was trying to do in this. I, I don't know, but. This one is me. If I figure it out, I'll put the picture on the screen. I suck at YouTube actually and I don't know how to do that. Um, but this is a picture of me that was taken by my cousin's photographer that was taking her senior pictures. So I got one of me in there. These flowers are really fun to do though. I almost never do flowers in my paintings, but this one was fun to do. Obviously the face is like a weird shape. It's not right. There's, it just looks like kind of weird and like bulky almost, but that's me. You can tell because my freckles. 
I don't know which side of my face this is on, but I put my freckles in there. This one, um, March 11th of 2017. Self-portrait. This is me as well. Um, I don't remember this picture being taken. Or if I took it of myself, most likely. I don't know. But I like her. You know, the hands look pretty good. I mean, I did this in 2017, which I guess really is not long ago, but she's looking pretty good. You know, this is actually on, like, real canvas. This is, like, a black canvas. Um, and it's, like, those thin ones. I actually hate painting on these. This one turned out pretty well, but they, like, never turn out for me on these. I like painting on, like, these boards that are just, like, flimsy even more because it's, like, a smooth surface rather than, like, a textured surface. Like, you can see the canvas, like, through my painting, kind of. So, this one's me as well. Look at that. Um, like, again, you can see my freckle. Whatever side it's on, I'm not sure. But this is me. This is one of my first, like, canvases that I've ever painted on. I wish I dated this. But, I mean, I actually originally did this with her mouth was, like, open. You could, like, see her teeth. But I actually really suck at doing teeth, and so, like, I don't. I did it, and then I took a picture of it, and then I was like, nope. So I just, like, covered up the teeth with her lips, so. But there's her. And then this one I did while I was in Boston. I did it at the Boston Museum of Art. I was at a class, at, like, a painting class there. It was super fun to do. This project was, I had to take a primary color and it's secondary color. So blue and it's secondary color is orange. And I could only paint with those two colors. So we went upstairs into like a certain area of the museum that he picked. And then you sit next to something on like this really cool like artist stool. You just like whip out, you like open it up and sit on it. And I drew him in my sketchbook first with like some color pencils to like figure out what I was gonna do. And then we went down and painted him. His lips are probably my least favorite part. They're just really like flat and dull and not tilted like his face is but other than that i mean it was really fun to do this like gradient turned out really well it took me a while to do again it's like that board that i don't like but still i like him um this one i did when i was painting with my boyfriend he decided to paint with me and for some reason i painted this guy i like painting bodies a lot like the purples in this are really fun to me um doing the dark purples instead of like black or something um, the only thing that didn't work out is his face. I just couldn't do it, and so I just kind of, like, made it scribbled, I guess. But other than that, the back turned out well. I think the hand turned out pretty well. Obviously, not one of my best pieces, but he's really fun. We've got one more last piece here. I was doing this guy. I was at my friend's house. We are having, like, paint night, and I feel blessed when people want to paint with me. And we were, I was painting this girl that I thought looked really cool as a picture. Like she had like smoke behind her, like trees behind her, it looked super cool. And then I started going and it looked terrible. I hated it. And so I just kind of messed around. I was like, you know, like screw this. And so I just like, just did some black lines on it. And it's not like, obviously I didn't try that hard. Like it's just like a block color with some lines on it. But it kind of reminds me of like Pablo Picasso style. Just cause like the eyes, I guess are kind of crazy. And it's just kind of like outlined. I don't know. It's just... I really hated it at first and I almost threw it away, but then I didn't. Um, it's grown on me a little bit. I just keep it for fun. Glad I kept it. Other than that, that is all I've got for you. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this one actually filmed because I don't want to take it a third time. I hope you enjoyed it because I enjoyed showing you.